Translating it with Google Translate is fine. It can help you with language learning, actually. I personally like using Google Translate when I'm not sure how to pronounce a word. I basically enter it into Google Translate and then I uh, translate it and then I listen to its pronunciation, which is quite a nice way to um, get introduced to what a word sounds like in the language you're learning. Google Translate's job is actually to translate, and your job is not to translate, especially not to translate in your head when you're learning or speaking a foreign language. So I bet you're wondering um, how you can stop this whole translation thing going on in your head. It's something that many of us face when we first start learning a foreign language and it's a question that comes up a lot. Many people ask me how do you stop this constant Google Translate happening in your head and I'm going to talk to you about it today but before I do make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think they might be interested in this topic. So my main tip for not translating in your head or getting rid of this habit if you've got it already is to start using a monolingual dictionary. A monolingual dictionary is basically a dictionary that just uses one language, that's why it's called monolingual. It doesn't have translations in any other language, so for every entry you have a definition of that word in the same language. So when you look up a word in a monolingual dictionary, Every time you do that, you train your brain to think in the language that you're learning, instead of thinking in your native language, because you start associating words with concepts rather than with their translations in your native language. And when you do it more and more, sometimes you will notice that you will know a word in a foreign language and you don't actually know the direct translation of that word in your native language. Uh, it's happened to me before, it actually happened to me when I was studying uh, linguistics in France. I knew all these different concepts in linguistics because I learned them in French, uh, but I didn't know how to translate them into English or into Polish. Um, I had no idea how to talk to my international friends about linguistics in English or in Polish because I only knew those words in French, but that doesn't mean I didn't understand what those words meant. I understood the concepts, but I just didn't know their translations. So there was no way for me to translate in my head when I had to speak about those concepts in French, because I only knew them in French. And that's what happens when you use monolingual dictionaries. Tip number two, use images instead of translations. So when you're recording new words in your vocabulary notebook, for example, um, try to use little pictures. Even if you're not great at drawing, you know, just draw a very simple picture to illustrate the concept. Um, and I know it's quite easy when you're a beginner, um, because obviously you can draw a picture of a dog or a house, but then it gets a little bit complicated because you begin to learn more complicated concepts. But you can always use a little picture and then maybe a little description um, instead of using a direct translation. So this way of learning will again train your brain to associate words with concepts or pictures or images rather than with um, equivalent meanings in your native language, which will mean that when you need those words, when you need to use them in a conversation, uh, you will then think of the image rather than actually saying the word in your native language in your head. Tip number three is read a lot in the language you're learning. And when you read, try to memorize sentences or chunks of sentences. Reading and focusing on sentences and trying to memorize examples of sentences will help you speak in a more natural way because when you need those sentences when you're speaking, you will then be able to draw upon the memories that you made when you were reading rather than necessarily trying to construct those, sent those sentences from scratch uh, yourself. So you will avoid the kind of habit of translating. And my final tip is quite a funny one. So every time you catch yourself translating in your head, Stop and say to yourself, even out loud, 
translation, translation, translation. And this is a, a kind of a silly thing to do, but as you do it, you will basically draw your own attention to the moments when you do translate um, and when you don't realize you're doing it. So um, it will basically give you a little bit of um, awareness of how frequently you do it and when you do it invol involuntarily. Um, so hopefully um, you, the, the frequency with which uh, you translate in your head will decrease. Like I said, translating in your head is a habit that many, many, many people get into when they first start learning a language. But believe me, with a little bit of practice and hopefully by using the tips I've just given you, you can get rid of this habit. And as you get better, I promise you, you will stop translating um, or you will translate a lot less than you are now. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share your experiences in the comments below and like this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye.